work on the toes. Beauty. Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video! And I thought I'd do a voiceover for this video, so obviously I started pancakes. I love pancakes. And there was a time I wouldn't even be allowed to eat pancakes, so I'm very happy doing my pancake dance. <laughs> And then I admired Blaze for a bit, because she is beautiful. Look, she's all cosy with her blanket on. And then I was hungry, so I had a roll with cheese and tomato and pesto and some tuna. And then we went to the pet shop and we bought a collar for Blaze, a new collar. And, oh, it's so cute, it's got a bow on it. And Satara really liked this bowl that she's just about to hold up that one so we bought a collar and a new bottle please loved her new collar she looks so gorgeous please got her new collar on i love days like this where we just do something simple but it ends up being really fun just you should live every day like that just appreciating little things and then i had some chocolate of course then i had a muffin with jam peanut butter scrambled eggs then i had french toast with tiger bread it was so good and I had another apple because I love pink lady apples and then mum came in wearing dad's Halloween costume and it was so funny. <laughs> she pulled it off way better than dad and it was, yeah, I just, I really appreciate stuff like that now and I had filled pasta with parmesan, some more tuna with sweet corn and tiger bread with Nutella and then I had more chocolate Then we went for a walk with Blaze and she loves looking over the wall at the sea. Oh, she's so cute. I just, I love going out for walks. It's great to have energy now to actually do things like that. Then Alicia FaceTimed us because she just pierced her ear. And it was, well, it looked quite painful. Mum really liked it, but she said it made her feel sick because just it, it went through a really hard bit of her ear. <laughs> there we go. Mum's really not, not very um, into the whole ear piercing thing but it does look really cool painful. but yeah it hurt alicia actually still says it's still painful now so yeah look at that <laughs> it does look really cool though i just i really appreciate moments like this now with my family because there was a time when they didn't really see me for about two years it does make me upset that i've wasted so much time and i've missed out on spending loads of time with everyone and making memories but I'm so glad that I can now and I can make up for it and then Blaze, Blaze got her nappy on because she started bleeding and she looks so cute she's, she's just so gorgeous I think that it's important to spend time with those who you love and who want the best for you and people surround yourself with people that you actually want to be like and people who make you feel good because life's too short to surround yourself with people that bring you down or don't make you feel good and you should live every single day the best you want to and then I um then I made a oh I forgot what it was then <laughs> then I made a mascarpone pasta bake and the first time making this actually we usually just buy the store-bought sauce and it was actually so good I'll leave the recipe in the description Although I think I actually kind of did it a bit like mix mash of a few recipes, but yeah, it was so nice. Really creamy. I kept adding more mascarpone because I was like, oh, I really need some more in there. And back when I was ill, that wasn't something I would do. So you should always make food that you love and food that you think, oh, wow, that looks so good because yeah, it does. And life's too short to not put cheese on top of your food. Now, well, I remember when I made a massive deal out of putting cheese on my food, like it was the craziest thing. I couldn't believe I did it. And now I just whack cheese on everything. So trust me, if you find having cheese on top of your pasta really hard, there will be a time in your life when you can do it. Oh, look at that. Look at that melty goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, a few years ago, that would have freaked me out. I would stop shaking, like probably start crying. And now I just think, oh my gosh, that looks delicious. I'm so glad that I can make things like this and actually eat them and just spend time with my family. It was really good, you should make it. <laughs> and I was like, oh wow, Blaze looks like a little toddler with her nappy on. She's so cute. <laughs> 
I love being able to just chill out and lounge as well with my family. Then, dessert of course. Had some apple pie for the first time in a long time actually, with some vanilla ice cream. It was really good. I quite like to make my own apple pie actually. I keep saying actually, I've just realised. <laughs> but yeah, it was really nice. And then I had some ice cream because I fancied more. And then, Blaze was drinking her water but she was too tired to get down so we fed her the water. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. Also, subscribe and like the video if you like the video. I hope you like this voiceover, it's a bit, a bit random, but yeah, I hope you liked it. And I hope everyone's well, I hope you're finding this time good, and you're just looking after yourself. And it's nearly Christmas soon, and that's the best time of the year ever, so... Thanks guys, have a good rest of the morning or evening or day, you're amazing.